just mouthwatering. The level of detail is spectacular. There are some pretty mind-blowing discoveries that we're going to talk about. All week, the grins on the faces of NASA scientists have just been getting bigger as the Pluto discoveries are revealed. And today, there was this. This is uh, a silhouette of Pluto looking back after the flyby. That halo around the edge, backlit by the distant rays of the sun, is the first ever photo of Pluto's atmosphere. This was the image that almost brought tears to the eyes of the atmospheric scientist on the team. More so, it actually shows the first pictures of Plutonian weather with a layer of haze in that atmosphere. And there was more. The photos show Pluto as flowing fields of ice, of frozen nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide. And they will flow, like in the same way that glaciers do on the Earth. Today's revelations cap a remarkable week for space exploration, which also included the Kepler mission's exciting discovery of a planet like ours, 1,400 light years away. At Vancouver's HR McMillan Space Centre, the Pluto photos are already part of the exhibit, and today we were with astronomer Derek Keefe as he fielded questions about that atmosphere shot. But it's how a big thick would that atmosphere be? Uh, 30 kilometres to about 50 kilometres. And how, how does, does that, that compare to Earth? Yeah, to Earth. So, uh, so it's... it's it's bigger but thinner than our own. People love it. Something that NASA and the ESA are trying to do better of, uh, releasing their images earlier. Uh, so early on, uh, they kind of held on to their, their gems, if you will, uh, and they only released a couple of them, and they weren't really publicizing them as much. But now, with the ESA and with NASA opening up their doors, they're kind of saying, we get the images, we're going to share them with you as soon as we can. There was also news about Pluto's so-called heart, that nitrogen snow from the left lobe might be blowing onto the right side. With so much dizzying news to process, perhaps it's good there's now a short break in the data transmissions before another potential burst of Pluto discoveries in September. Chris Brown, CBC News, Vancouver.